Hey everyone, welcome back to Inside the Cage, where we bring you the latest and exciting updates of UFC. First, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. UFC star Gaethje's nightclub clash makes headlines. UFC sensation Justin Gaethje found himself in an unexpected confrontation at a local nightclub over the weekend when he had an altercation with an individual who reportedly identified himself as a bodyguard. The incident unfolded in the early hours of Sunday morning at a popular nightclub in Gaethje's hometown of Safford, Arizona. Eyewitnesses at the scene described a heated exchange between Gaethje and the self-proclaimed bodyguard who reportedly attempted to intervene in an argument that the fighter was involved in. Gaithya, known for his fiery personality inside the octagon, didn't back down from the situation. Security personnel at the club quickly intervened, attempting to defuse the tension. While the altercation didn't escalate into a physical fight, it certainly grabbed the attention of those present at the club and is now making waves in the sports world and on social media. Gaithia's next move inside the octagon is eagerly awaited as he remains a top contender in the UFC's lightweight division. This incident outside the cage, however, demonstrates that he's not one to back down from a challenge, whether it's against an opponent in the UFC or a bodyguard at a local nightclub. Stipe Majokic's long wait for John Jones. Former UFC heavyweight champion Stipe Miocic is making headlines once again, and this time, it's not for his incredible octagon skills, but for the ongoing controversy surrounding his title shot. Mayokic, who has consistently been one of the most dominant fighters in the division, is expressing his frustration over the UFC's decision to make him wait for a highly anticipated title fight against John Jones. Mayokic, known for his humble demeanor and impressive fight record, has undoubtedly earned the opportunity to face John Jones, the former light heavyweight champion who is making the move up to the heavyweight division. The potential clash between these two legends has been eagerly anticipated by fight fans worldwide. The delay in the fight announcement has raised questions about the UFC's matchmaking process and the negotiations involved. Miyakic, however, made it clear that he is not the one stalling the fight. John Jones, often considered one of the greatest mixed martial artists of all time, has expressed his eagerness to step into the heavyweight division and face Miosics. Fans have been vocal on social media, rallying behind both fighters and expressing their impatience to see this dream matchup materialize. Israel Adesanya breaks. Silence. Not retiring. In a recent turn of events, UFC middleweight champion Israel Adesanya has put to rest the rumors of his retirement and demise. While the rumor mill had been buzzing with speculations, the last stylebender has broken his silence to set the record straight regarding his UFC career. In an exclusive interview with Adesanya, he stated, Now I'm going to take time to look after myself. I'm not going to fight for a long time. I'm right. definitely not going to retire because I know me. I'm not, I'm not leaving no. for that. I know me. But if, if I did, I'm fine. But yeah. I don't need to prove anything else. Adesanya, known for his charismatic personality and fierce fighting style, had left many fans puzzled with his recent social media posts that hinted at retirement. The enigmatic fighter, however, has not divulged any specific timeline for his return to the octagon. He said, I can't give you a date right now, but I'm not going anywhere. I'll be back. The reigning champion's last appearance was a highly anticipated matchup against Robert Whittaker, which he won decisively. His absence from the octagon had left many fans wondering when they would see him back in action. Adesanya remains tight-lipped about his potential next opponent, but he did tease. When I come back, yep. fucking run for the hills. <laughs> UFC President Dana White has also been coy about the situation, adding to the mystery surrounding Adesanya's return. We're in touch with Israel, and we're excited to have him back. When and where? That's something we'll all have to wait to find out, White commented. With Adesanya's confirmation that he's not hanging up his gloves, fans can now eagerly anticipate his return to the octagon as he looks to continue his reign as one of the most dominant champions in the UFC's history. The last style bender may have left us in suspense, but one thing is clear. He's far from done with the fight game. Guys, if you're enjoying the video, we'd love your support. Just hit that subscribe button to motivate us to bring you more exciting content. Ronda Rousey's spectacular burlesque wrestling debut.
Former WWE and UFC star, Ronda Rousey made a surprising and flamboyant return to the world of professional wrestling as she participated in a burlesque wrestling event. This marked her first ever non-WWE match and left fans both thrilled and puzzled by her choice of venue. In a candid interview, Rousey explained her decision, saying, I've always been a fan of professional wrestling and I wanted to do something different, something that challenges me in a new way. This burlesque wrestling event is a unique experience and I couldn't pass up the opportunity. The event, which combined elements of traditional professional wrestling with a burlesque twist, featured Rousey in a light-hearted but physically demanding match. She donned a special costume for the occasion, in line with the event's burlesque theme. Fans, many of whom have missed seeing Rousey in action since her last WWE appearance, expressed a mix of excitement and curiosity. The event, held at a renowned venue in Las Vegas, drew a considerable crowd, showcasing the intrigue surrounding Rousey's unconventional wrestling match. Rousey's involvement in the burlesque wrestling event is reminiscent of her transition from mixed martial arts to professional wrestling, which saw her become one of the biggest names in both worlds. While this event wasn't a WWE match, it allowed her to demonstrate her versatility as an entertainer and athlete. UFC's Ian Machado, Gary Baird from Rivals Gym. In a surprising twist in the world of MMA, UFC fighter Ian Machado Gary has revealed that he has been barred from training at the gym of fellow UFC welterweight contender Leon Edwards. This decision by Edwards and his coach has raised eyebrows in the MMA community and has led to speculations regarding a potential feud between the fighters. The controversy appears to have roots in a yet undisclosed incident or disagreement between the two fighters. Gary remained tight-lipped about the specific cause behind the gym ban, but hinted at some underlying tension. Leon Edwards, who is currently one of the top-ranked contenders in the welterweight division, has also refrained from commenting on the issue directly. The decision by Edwards and his coach has sparked speculation about whether this feud will spill over into the octagon, with fans eagerly awaiting a potential matchup between the two welterweight fighters. All right, guys, that's all for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. See you at the next one. Until then, goodbye.